as I've said again and again, and will repeatedly say, it was fathers who developed so many of these body skills in birthing better. Men are fascinated. I mean, they're mechanical, they're practical, they're fascinated. Once they got the fact that this is a big object that has to come out of a container, then they got stuck in and they developed the body skills. Yet in labor, they also saw something else. When women birth, when I labor, I am very 100% invested in the experience I'm having. It just takes over. I have no control over it. I don't know when the next contraction is going to come. I don't know how intense it's going to be. So I'm not always thinking really clearly. I'm not as observant as a birth coach is who can see and hear things. So one of the things that you're going to learn is about the five phases of contractions and the progression of labor, and that ties in to the positions that a woman's in. She will have gone through a chart probably of best positions or watch videos or seen other women or heard about the different positions women should get into. None of those are relevant. What is relevant and the only relative thing, relevant thing that you need to know is if a contraction is progressing, if it starts, if the intensity goes up, if there's a defined peak, the intensity comes down and the contraction goes away, then that woman's position or posture, the baby is fine with. If she gets into a different position or changes the posture of her upper body relative to her lower body and the contraction starts, looks like, sounds like it's going to go up, but it plateaus off, then sort of dribbles away, then you know that the position or the posture she is in, your baby doesn't like. And you need to have her realign the top part of her body and to think about the lower part of her body. This big object inside doesn't want its space bent. That's why if the top part of the body is bent forward, for some babies, that hinders its ability to open up, come down to and out. Babies do not like internal tension. So if you walk and can feel the tension in your bum muscles, each step you take, how that tension changes, for some babies, certain positions such as walking impede the progress of the labor. Babies do not like their space compressed. So if the woman has back labor and you're pressing in on her sacrum, it may relieve her back labor, but it compresses the space the baby's trying to create. Or if she's in delivery and she's sitting back on her sacrum, or if you sit back on your sacrum, you will feel how that closes the space. The more you can feel these things in your body, the more you can interpret what you see and her hear as labor progresses. You want labor to be progressive. You want the contractions to get more intense, closer together, and longer over an hour or two in labor. If that's not happening, you have to look at positions, internal tension, or compression of space. The video is very clear. You're not going to have difficulty. You just need to couple this skill with skills in some of the other lessons. You can do it. You're wise beyond your years. <laughs>